Hey, it's Becca, owner of Rebecca Reed Creative, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to implement SEO into your show at site. So let's get started on this tutorial. Your first step is to figure out the keywords that you need. So I was just going and using the Google Keyword Planner tool. You do need a Google AdWords account, I think, but um, that's completely free. And once you get it, you can then go in and look up keywords. So it can be as broad as Memphis, Tennessee photographer. And then it'll show you keywords that um, other people are searching on Google and lead you to some more niche keywords that um, will more likely rank you higher in Google. Once you have figured out those keywords, it's time to put them into your page. So you can go to your homepage or whichever one you're working on. And over here, they have SEO settings. And page title, um, make sure that it's applicable to the page, but I also do try to put in, you know, Jackson Hole Wedding Home. In the meta description, this is what's going to pop up on Google um, when they search for your homepage or whatever. So I just tried to, um, for this photographer, I wrote kind of about her style and of course where she is shooting and, um, but made it into a nice paragraph. Meta keywords, there has been, Google says they're not all that important. So honestly, I wouldn't waste your time unless you just feel like adding them in there for some reason, like I did. All right, so the next tip I feel is something that gets overlooked quite a bit when designing sites, um, and that is properly tagging your text. Uh, so you wanna make sure that your website is as easy as Google for Google as well as your user to understand as possible. Um, but especially for Google, they want it wants to know what you offer, who you serve, and potentially where you are, especially if you're a photographer. So when people search those things, Google knows to pull up your site. The issue with this is that the way you show it is designed is if you go into design settings, you know, you set your title and your heading, and your subheading to be according to the design that you like, but automatically Google will, or the show it site will tag this, the title as H1, this as H2. And you should only ever have one H1 on every single site. And then you can have three to four H3s and then as much, you know, paragraph as you want and, or three to four H2s and then as many H3s and then obviously paragraph is whatever. So you need to tell Google, nope, this is actually what the H1 is. So on this main page, I wanted Google to know that this right here, Wyoming Engagement Photographer for Jackson Hole, that is the number one thing. And so I take to that as H1. That is the only thing on this page tagged as H1. Then I went in and there's a few other things that are tagged H2. Like that. And I believe that is. And then everything else is tagged H3 or paragraph or navigation or div. Um, so I'll show you a little bit how to do that. I made one. I undid one to show you. Um, so if you go into the client words, over here in page, if you go to this view right here, this text right here is tagged as an H2. I don't want Katie and Billy to be what always pops up. So I'm gonna make that an H3. That's a paragraph, so that's just fine. Go into the next one, same thing, H3. So just go through and make sure that is all correct. So a lot of times, you know, something like, hello and welcome to my website will be tagged as an H1, and that's not necessarily what you want Google to track. So you wanna make your H1 super, super specific. For example, fine art, wedding photographer in Arizona, um, looking for the authentic bride, or something like that. Something that's just super, super, super specific. I know it's not always the prettiest, but you want Google to be able to understand exactly what you do. Next thing is to go through and alt tag your images. So to do that, you just click on the image and then over here it has the file and you wanna change that SEO title to be um, the keyword that, you know, that's on your list. So Grand Teton Weddings as well as the description. And when you, if you have a show it site, you probably have a blog with your site. You design your blog over here and then you edit your blog through WordPress and you can do the same thing through WordPress on the back end when you upload an image, you just, will change the title to be what your SEO title is. Sorry, I know this video is getting long, but there's so many important things. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it up with a few more SEO tips. Um, first of all, if you do have a blog, make sure that you get the Yoast SEO plugin. So when you are creating your blog posts, 
um, on your WordPress site, you can then make sure that it's all good. It'll tell you what to change if your sentences are too long or whatever to make it the readability score really good. So that's the first thing. Second thing, um, make sure that your blog is, or that it's mobile optimized, which if you have a show at site, that'll be done for you. And then I know it's super popular. Well, I would say it was more popular a few years ago, but to have that like one page that just scrolls and scrolls and scrolls. Um, and it can be really aesthetically pleasing and nice, but it's not great for SEO. So if you're looking for a template, I highly suggest finding a template that has multiple pages um, because you can, again, add in all those different keywords. In conclusion, the number one question I feel like I get asked is, what's your number one tip for SEO? Just do it. Do it from the beginning. Set up the groundwork. It'll make your life so much easier. Um, a lot of people will search, you know, is WordPress or Squarespace or show it best for SEO. And honestly, if you do it, they're all great. So just do it. And I think show it in Squarespace make it easier to implement the SEO. So that's usually what I would suggest if you're trying to build your own website. If you have any other questions, please drop them below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Share it. And I will be posting again next Wednesday.